Today we've come to the Corby site in Northamptonshire, the tube making facility that's part of Tata Steel UK. Now while most of the discussion about the steel industry in the UK at the moment is about electric arc furnaces and the transition from blast furnaces to that new technology, what people shouldn't forget is the importance of the downstream businesses such as Corby and the need to keep supplying customers through that transition period to invest in those sites such that once the electric arc furnace is up and running, we've got a complete UK business that is well set for the future and uh, the throughput of green steel. So we've come to Corby today because it's a critical point in the project that we've got here, Project Aurora, a £30 million investment project. So the combination mill that's coming in here is starting to uh, arrive on site and we're going to talk to some of the people later about that. But before we do that, I wanted to catch up with Gary Blackman. Gary's our works manager here at Corby. Gary, take us back a little bit and talk to us about the wider Project Aurora, because like I say, it's a £30 million project. There's a lot in it, a lot's happened already, but there's still some bits to go. Yeah, thank you, Tim. Like you say, we're reaching some critical milestones in various aspects of the project, but it's good to remind ourselves what is Project Aurora and what we're trying to achieve. So, three or four years ago, we designed a transformation project which was to make the business more efficient and add more value to the bottom line of the business. Um, the business supported that with CapEx. Um, so if we run through what, what's involved in Project Aurora, so you'll see behind us a brand new warehouse. So we've gone from a stack on the floor, load with crane operation, to a stack on racks and a side loader operation. Um, transformed the way that we store our product. Um, it's more efficient. We have better knowledge of where our stock is and our stock holding. And you can see the conditions that we store them in are much better than we used to. So new warehouse. There's a bay behind us now, which is the last bit of the warehouse to do, but 90% of the warehouse is done. It also involves a brand new combination mill. What we found was we had four old mills. If we invested in a new mill, we could do with one mill what we used to do with two. So the business invested in a brand new combination mill. It's the best technology on the market that you can buy. And we finished our civils and we've just seen today some of the equipment arriving. So fantastic that we're moving to the installation phase of that and we look to be tube making um, in September this year. Um, as well as the new warehouse and the new um, mill, we needed to relocate some equipment like the flow line and upgrade it to allow us to release the square footage we needed to complete the warehouse. And because this was funded by um, land sales, what we normally call the West Works, Whoever was residing on the West Works, i.e. the stores, the commercial offices, the engineering facilities, the tooling, that all needs relocating to the east side of the works. So what used to be the South Warehouse, the footprint for that, that will then become our new stores facilities, our new tooling facilities, some lighter engineering facilities and some further storage in there. So there's, there's a lot more going on, so we've got water, gas and some peripheral work, but they're the main factors of Project Aurora. And um, as we move into the installation phase for the mill, we're coming to the point where everything is now coming together and we can start to see what's been on paper and what's been a plan for a couple of years um, being executed in person. So it's a really exciting time for the business and it just shows that the business is committed to Corby and the downstream businesses in general and um, it's our job to be fit for the future and ready for when they strike up the new facility in Port Talbot um, to make sure that we're part of a, a lean and profitable business. Yeah, and it must be one of the biggest transformations the site has seen in years. You know, there's still 500 people on this site, it's still a major employer in the site and it's a critical part of the Tata Steel UK infrastructure. But if we can come back to like the immediate presence in the wider picture, because when the blast furnaces in Port Talbot are turned off, the plan is to provide you guys with substrate that's imported from overseas. How are you guys getting ready for that and how, how prepared will you be with your customers to take that different substrate? So obviously that we've got the um, transformation plan for the business and there's a transition period in there. So we've been working on this for a while. I mean, one of the benefits of being part of a wider organisation is we're getting a lot of support from our, our sites over in NL and over in India. So we've been taking some of their coil, we've been trialling it through our processes and feeding it into our customer base. And as it stands today, we're not having any issues and we're fully confident that we can, we can rely on that support to get us through the transition piece until the electric arc furnace is turned on and we can be a fully UK integrated supply again. 
Yeah, and if I come on to that, because how exciting, it must be tremendously exciting to see the site here change before your very eyes. Um, but when the electric arc furnace starts providing you with low CO2 steels, how transformational will that be for, for you from a market perspective or a customer perspective in terms of the sustainability of the whole site? It's fantastic to see, Tim. So Project Aurora is circa 30 million investment. Um, the site's gone through peaks and troughs through the cycle and um, there's been times when the future was quite concerning for the workforce and the community, I guess. I think when you're spending monies like £30 million, it becomes a more positive place to work in a more positive atmosphere. So on top of the £30 million for Aurora, which is a transformational project, we also have our green steel project, circa £20 million. So basically it's a fuel switch from natural gas to electricity, get your electricity from renewable sources, then you become, become an end-to-end -end net zero manufacturer. However, the key to net zero is in the coil. So when, when the electric arc is switched on and we do get some of the greenest coil delivered to us that is made in the world and we have a net zero manufacturing site, we'll be offering the greenest tubes available in the world. Yeah, listen, it's a fantastic story, Gary, and we're going to go and see some of the guys who are putting the combination mill in later. You know, wherever you walk across this site in Corby, you see things that are progressing and changing. They are becoming more sustainable. They are moving from gas to electricity. They've got new uh, facilities for servicing their customers. It is a proper transformation. And I know it's happening on other sites uh, around the UK, and we'll go and visit some of those to see how they're investing for the future as well. But for now, Gary, thanks very much for reminding us of the Aurora project. All power to your elbow in what you're doing here it is a proper, proper transformation that uh, is hugely impressive. And uh, we're really looking forward to going to see the new mill come in and follow that through the rest of the year. So thanks very much for your time. Yeah, thank you, Tim. Enjoy the rest of your day.